what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. This is going to be a variety pack video. I've got multiple different sky observations I want to share with you guys. Most of you guys watching this video share the same interests with me with regard to sky. I find all aspects of the heavens and daytime and nighttime skies very, very fascinating, especially when there's things up there that we cannot explain. You're going to see four different things in this video that are all very unique, all different locations that are kind of unexplainable. This is one of them, Monique out of the Netherlands. There's a video that goes with this photo, something just cruising through the daytime sky. We're going to look at a triangle. We're going to look at a bright green flash, actually two green flashes out of Pennsylvania. Also have a brand new picture slideshow I put together. Three minutes of high octane new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. But first we're going to start over here in the Netherlands. Started the video off with a photo of this object stationary. Now you're going to see it moving through the sky just as smooth as silk. Watch this. Doesn't seem to be making any noise. Monique noticed it. Noticed it looked out of place. Doesn't look like an airplane, doesn't look like a helicopter. To be honest, it looks like a couple of those Tic Tacs that have been seen by Air Force pilots stuck together. It's kind of what it looks like to me, kind of shimmering a little bit. Here in just a minute, you're going to see, it's not very long, it's only about 30 seconds. You're going to see some color right there. Did you see the color? But that's not an airplane. Definitely not a helicopter. And of course... As we've always mentioned, there's a color right there. Always mentioned when we see things like this. I suppose it could be a drone, but I'm not familiar with every type of drone that there is. And the reason she stopped recording the object is because it went over the roof of her house right here and then out of the field of view. But there it is in original format, original speed. Here I enhance it, trying to pull forward like I always do some possible features that we did not see in the original version. And that really wasn't the case. Light is dark, dark is light, looks like the same object. Looks like two Tic Tacs, Tic Tac objects stuck together. Here it is in slow motion, the original version not enhanced. I zoom in as close as I could. It appears to be reflecting light and that tells us that that is indeed a physical object in the sky above the Netherlands in broad daylight just cruising along without a care in the world. Don't know what that was but I found it interesting and I thought you guys would find it interesting as well. Kind of like this video out of St. Genevieve, Missouri sent in by David. Very keen observation of something parked in the daytime sky that was round. Check this out. Okay, there it again. It's been sitting there for 20 minutes now. There's no way that's a planet and it's not a star. I looked on my sky map and it's just not a planet. He looked at his star map. He made sure it wasn't a planet because it stayed in that same location for over 20 minutes. Not a balloon. A balloon would have drifted off long, long ago and would have been completely out of sight, caught up in the jet stream. I've done that myself with balloons, you know, with little experiments with the kids years ago. And it doesn't take long for a balloon to drift off way out of sight. That's not a balloon if it's hovering there stationary above his house. Looks to be about five to maybe six, seven hundred feet off of the ground. That would give that thing a diameter of approximately, what, five, maybe six, seven feet somewhere in that ballpark. Just guessing. So a pretty good size object. Once again, broad daylight, not trying to hide from anybody. Just sitting there in St. Genevieve, Missouri, above David's house. Great observation. Now we're going to go to Pennsylvania, where Joe and his brother were driving home from work. All of a sudden, a strange green flash appears off in the distance. There's number one. The second one you're going to see is much bigger than the first one here. There was no storms. That wasn't lightning. So it couldn't have been, I suppose it could have been, but... It wasn't storm-induced um, transformer. Sometimes tornadoes, I've seen it myself in the middle of a hurricane, will, will blow transformers. Sometimes the flash is green, sometimes it's blue. When I was in a hurricane, I saw flashes very similar to that without the big beam going up into the sky from a hurricane. But there's no hurricane here. You can see stars in the sky. There's some clouds over there, but they're not thunderstorm clouds. 
What in the world was that? Joe drives this road every night. Has never seen anything like that. Unbelievable. And you can see down low, it's glowing in the clouds. It's glowing green. Incredible sighting out of Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. Now we're going to Kego Harbor, Michigan, where Jenny J noticed in the nighttime sky what appeared to be a stationary triangle craft. This is the original photo that she shared with me, and she also sent this video in, but it was just much too dark for it to show up. You can kind of see where it's at right there. The photo was much clearer. She could adjust the lighting to, to pull it forward. The video, it was just a little bit too dark, but you can get the idea where it's at right there. Looks like a, a large triangle craft. It doesn't look like anything else in the sky, not even remotely close. Got a triangle parked in the sky above Michigan. Great observation. You guys are wide awake and on the ball. Here's the new Sky Phenomena picture slideshow I put together. Daniel R. out of Pacifica, California. Rare fog bow. This one is along the coast, though. Teresa Tree out of Dayton, Ohio. Some very ominous looking storm clouds, very low to the ground, almost look like you could reach up and touch them. That one there was particularly dark and ominous looking. Unbelievable. Tina out of St. John's, Arizona. Unusual sky here. It looks like a, a lavender or dark purple. Got some sort of an unusual shape up there. It looks like some sort of a rectangle maybe. Stuart T out of Jacksonville, Florida. Got sunlight over there. It looks like a dual sunset. And then the sunset over there Teresa out of Austria very unique cloud structure up in the sky above Austria Steve T out of Blythe California very busy sky above Blythe a Kirschman 80 out of Michigan super unique clouds here with a big massive hole punch cloud looks like a giant clamshell or something up in the sky to me it looks like an object moved through the sky creating that formation there's a close-up view and that very sharp line that contrast in the sky from clouds to clear blue skies great observation by a Kirschman 80 out of Michigan Here's a pano of that same area. Super unique sky. Anthony H. got what looks like yet another triangle, maybe a craft, parked up in the clouds. Look at this one here. Nighttime sky to boot by Gayanne out of Yorba Linda, California. Very distinct V that doesn't look like anything else up in the sky. In fact, these over here look like, it's difficult to tell, but they look like mammatus clouds. And then you've got that V structure just sitting there unbelievable get a load of that that's exactly the way i received the photos just exactly like that boss lady not exactly sure of the location but we've got a very low to the ground double decker rainbow just incredible muskogee oklahoma cw not sure how to even describe what we've got going on here you got one two three four five six and a small one what look like louvers up in the sky that don't match anything else, not even close to its neighboring clouds. How does that even happen? Chen out of Hong Kong, big halo, very high in the sky above Hong Kong. Chris V out of Belgium. This is the nighttime sky, colorful clouds in the proximity of the moon. Dan out of Aurora, Illinois, yet another spectacular sunset casting dark shadow beams in the sky from the horizon. Nova Scotia, Darren, got a full moon halo around the most recent full moon back in November. Bushkill, Pennsylvania, Dominic and Cindy noticed the same halo from Pennsylvania. Darren out of Minnesota, got lightning going through a double-decker rainbow. Frank K out of Holland, spectacular fiery orange sunset. Aaron out of Georgia, noticed this double-decker rainbow in Georgia. Also noticed on the same day at the same time, a double-decker rainbow in Lynchburg, Virginia. Incredible. And she was asking, could that have been the same double-decker rainbow visible from Virginia and Georgia at the same time? And here they both are. Is that possible? I don't know. It's a few hundred miles apart. But there they are, two double-decker rainbows in two separate states at the same exact time. Coincidence? Or are they the same? I don't know. You guys tell me. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. And sometimes I'll use them in a video slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. And be safe out there.